Kokdugi or diced radish kimchi is a variety of kimchi in Korean cuisine. Usually, it has all the ingredients of kimchi, but the beku used for kimchi is replaced with Korean radish called mu, mu in Korean. Kokdugi is a popular banchan side dish enjoyed by Koreans and others. Origin The origin of kokdugi is mentioned in a cookbook named Joseon Yorahak, Joseon Iolahag Chow Xian Liao Li Shui, literally, Korean Gastronomy, written by Hong Son Pyo in 1940. According to the book, kokdugi was created by Princess Suxian, Sugshanong Jushu Shan Weng Zhu, a daughter of King Zhangzhou and the wife of Hong Hyon Ju, Hong Hyon Ju Hong Xian Zhou, a high ranking government officer titled as Yang Miangwi. Yang Miang we Yang Ming we. When a matter for congratulation happened to the royal court, members of the royal family gathered to have a feast, and the princess presented a new dish made with diced radish to the king. He highly praised it and asked her about the dish's name. She replied that the dish did not have a name because she had accidentally made it, but found that it tasted good, so she brought in the new dish to the court. The king replied that the dish would be named kokdugi because cutting food into cubes is called jigaktik zeolji in Korean. At that time, kokdugi was called gakdokji gagdogi chi and then became spread over commoners. Topic: <inaudible> Preparation. Kokdugi consists of radish cut into small cubes. The radish is flavored with salt, red chili powder, spring onions, and ginger. The radish and the other ingredients are mixed together and then traditionally stored in a jangdok, hangul, jangdog or ongi, hangul, ongi hanja, wengchi, both names which refer to a large earthenware pot. Fermentation takes about 2 weeks in a cool and dry place. Kokdugi is served cold and is usually consumed when the radish is crisp. This is before the radish becomes soft. Kokdugi, along with other types of kimchi, is a popular dish in Korea and is believed to share many of the health benefits of kimchi, due to the fermentation process. Varieties There are several main types of kokdugi, which are all fairly similar in their ingredients and preparation. Regular kokdugi Gul kokdugi Gulkigdugi is a variety of kokdugi that is flavored with whole raw oysters. It is made especially in winter around Korean New Year. Seujo salted preserved shrimp and water dropwort leaves, along with other spices, are used for making this. Because of the use of oysters, gul kokdugi has a comparatively short shelf life compared to other types of kokdugi. It is most often consumed in Jeju Island and Seoul. Gejimu kokdugi Gejimakogdugi is made with gejimu gejiol radish, a local specialty of the Yeoju region. Myeongte siodiori kokdugi Myeongtashidiolikogdugi is made with the gills of Alaska pollock. Myeongte refers to the fish and siodiori means the offal of fish in Korean. Suk kokdugi Sugkogdugi is made with diced radish that has been boiled, so it is reputed to be more easily digestible and therefore good for old people. Musongsongi Musongsongi is a form of kokdugi once consumed in the royal court, whose name derives from the adverb, songsong song song because the radish used for it is chopped and diced small. Seolongtang Korean soups such as seolongtang beef soup, galbitong galbi, or beef rib soup, samgeting ginseng chicken soup are considered good friends for kokdugi the taste of the kokdugi overpowers the taste of stew itself and gets rid of the distinctive smell of the stew additionally radish is very good for digestion when eating meat in stew kokdugi is believed to aid in digestion topic see also korean radish <laughs>